Hello everyone, this is Paulette Miz, Music Jackson coming your way. And with another episode of my perspective. And it's been a minute since I've done um, the show, the video, um, if you will. Um, it is Sunday, April 25th, night of the Oscars. So who, who out there is going to be watching? Uh, I'll, I'll maybe try to tune in, uh, in and out tonight, but... Yeah, but anyway, I this particular episode of my perspective was actually brought to me, the subject matter was brought to me by an experience that I have been having and I'm sure others have had on social media lately. Um, but it was brought to my attention that I should make this my subject point for today's show. And that was Mr. Doc Hardy, who is a colleague of mine in the radio game. Uh, promotions and and so on and so forth who actually recently interviewed me on his show the Doc Hardy show uh, about a couple weeks or so ago so I thank him for that so shout out to Mr. Doc Hardy for reaching out to me and saying hey maybe you should make a social media and the change that have been going on the last week or so and that are coming actually this week um, to address that in your my perspective, I think it will be a good subject matter. So I thank you, Doc Hardy, for bringing that to my attention. And it had been on my mind just because of the things that have been transpiring and is going to transpire again this week. And so, yeah, so thank you. So let's get to it. What I'm referring to is social media in its beginning stages, uh, especially the major platform beginning with FB. You guys know what I'm talking about was a platform that I thought was to connect with family and friends and especially high school, college classmates that you kind of lost touch with everybody going their own way and moving away from the cities that they were born in and raised in and that kind of thing and making lives, right? And of, of course, since that time, um, other platforms have come onto the scene and as a way to connect network, which I have been grateful, and I'm not going to lie, I've been grateful to do that. But there are, have been some, there's some ups and downs with everything. And there's been some ups and downs with social media. Now, fast forward to changes that are constantly made on social media. And again, to the main platform, beginning with FB. Coming up this week, there will be changes. I was notified, and I'm sure a lot of people who use the platform, who use any platform, that there are changes coming this week. As opposed to any public group or page that you've created, especially when it pertains to a, maybe a, a, a public business page or a music page or whatever, where you have created, you have maybe appointed admins and have control and you post whatever you choose to post on that particular public page. But coming up this week, there will be some changes made as to who can join, especially if you put things in place that you have to go in and approve or whatever of a post or a person joining. That's going to change this week. It's going to change. So anybody can join your public groups now on social media without you saying okay or no or yes or whatever. Why don't you control? You can still, I guess... Um, go in and approve or disapprove posts or whatever, but that's not the point. The point is, is that for me personally, I've created probably a few business pages on social media for people to engage, for me to um, post information about artists, music, my stations, other ventures, whatever the case may be. That, that's what I created it for. Not for any other reason than that. But now my choices are being taken away. My privacy, I feel, are being taken away. My control over my own page that I created with my name on it, whether it was my business name, my own personal name, or both. Those, some of those choices are being taken away from me without my control, which I think is wrong. I don't post craziness. I don't post offensive stuff. I, and on my personal page, I post news stuff that I feel that people should know, whether it's it's pleasant or not. It's awareness. I post things about artists, 
present and who have gone on to glory. I post celebra celebratory things, news, entertainment news, music news, arts news. On my personal page, I may give shout outs to people for their birthdays, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But more to let's get back to the business pages, to the public business pages or groups. It's going to be a change made this week without your control, without our control. So how we have set it up and things that we put in place in order to have some type of control over it, over who joins. Because you do, you, I mean, let's be honest. I know personally, I don't want just anybody joining my, my page. Now, now I, I didn't set up a couple of my pages that way. Because I needed to for them to be public business pages so that people can engage. Artists can engage. Listeners can engage. People that support can engage. You know, because sometimes when you private, it's, it, it is limited. But there are certain, even with that, there are certain things that you can put in place to still protect yourself and your page and your image that you want to project. Right? We should all have the right to do that. And again, me personally, is never offensive. It's all arts and entertainment. Information about my ventures, about my stations, about my books, about everything that I'm, as a creative, that I do. Whether it's my own, whether I'm collaborating with someone else, I share that news. Some of it I don't share. And some of it I haven't shared at all. People don't know about a lot of things that I'm doing on the back end. That's my choice, right? Just like it's your choice. It should be your choice on who joins your groups. It should be our choice of what gets posted and what does get posted. And I think that structure may be still put in place, but there are there are some people that you just don't want all all of automatically to join your group. They not be they may not be a great fit. You know, they may be coming into your group for the wrong reasons. You don't know. And then now, with that change you come this week, people just join your group without you even seeing it until later. You don't know what they're going to do. You don't know what they're going to post. You don't know what their information they're going to do. You know, are they going to be disrespectful to your other followers? I mean, who knows? You don't know now. I mean, just be honest. We don't know, ever know. That's why I think... Making this change is just not, it's not right because it takes away your choices. It takes away our choices as creatives. It should be our choice. When we create a page or a group, it's our choice. Especially if it's not offensive. And I'm talking from a creative standpoint here because I'm in the arts and entertainment world. So that's where I'm, I'm, my perspective is coming from. When we have just those things in place that are being taken away, what's left? What's left? To me, for me personally, it's wrong. When I see so much trash and junk being posted on all social media platforms that just goes, that you have to submit tickets and emails and all that to, to try to get taken off. You have to go through hoops to get that stuff taken off. But when you're trying to post something with meaning, creativity, networking, someone to maybe help someone else, entertainment for someone else, clean, wholesome entertainment, I mean, information, you're trying to, and you bring part of that in to build your brand. But social media world and the powers that be tell you, oh, we're going to take control of that. Now, I had one of my, my pages months ago change without my knowledge. It was already done. It was nothing I can do about it. I even sent them correspondence asking them to change it back. The way it's structured changed. Now, I still have control. It's my page. I still have control. But now I have to toggle back and forth now to even get to my own page where before it was included in the list of my pages that I control. 
Now I have to toggle to get to it because of the changes that the powers that be decide to make on my page. Why? And I'm going to tell you, not going to sugarcoat it for you guys. I was ticked off. Like what gives you the right to come in and change my business page without no, no warning. And I've asked you nicely to change it back because I don't like it. Still the same. And probably look for more of that to come, people. Just warning you. And again, this week, some changes are coming to public pages. So all of you collect, all of you people out there who have created public pages, be on the lookout. It's going to change. Where you probably had it, where you probably had it structured, where your admins are in control to approve or disapprove a person joining your group, going away. It's going away as, the, as of this week. It's wrong. Again, for me personally, I post positive stuff or I post news that needs to be told that we need to be aware of on my personal page. But on my business public pages, it's part of my brand. I'm... And hopefully people that come on or respect, or they're going to be respectful of that. But now I don't have a choice of who joins my group. So I have to go through hoops if they're not the right fit to try to get them off because you want to make a change without consulting, without giving us a choice. That's the thing. Without giving us a choice. It's wrong. And I, for one, personally, am not happy about it at all. And thinking about looking into some of the platforms. Because I want to be free to create and build upon my brand, a positive brand, mind you, without control from outside forces. But again, I see so much trash and junk being posted that you have to jump through hoops to get off. People are stealing other people's pages, cloning their profiles. And again, you have to jump through hoops to get that rectified. But yet and still, those of us, especially who are creatives, building a brand, are having our choices taken away from us. No, no, it's not right. It's not right. Social media can be good. It can be good, used for good. Absolutely. It's a way to connect and network and, you know, give information. Positive and, or informative, something that makes you think, all that. It's a good flat, cook, platform for that. Sure. <laughs> but when the powers that be come in and they make changes all the time on all platforms, all of them, without giving us a choice, that's where it's wrong to me. So frustrating. Where does it end? Where does it end? Is this, is, this is the age that we're living in now? That we can't even create our own business pages without someone else from the outside taking control of it? You put that place in place for us to do that. You know, pictures, links, whatever. You put that in place for us to be able to do that. Now you're saying, okay, now we're gonna we're gonna take control of it. Yeah, you'll still be able to post, you'll still be able to do this, but anybody can join your group, whether you like it or not. You you no longer have control on who who can join your group, mm -mm. or join your page. No, 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 not happy about that. How do you guys feel about that? Please comment. I'm gonna be posting this on on um, my pages. I'm gonna be posting it on my. Uh, YouTube page, my perspective. Privacy and social media is the subject today on my, um, on the show, on my perspective. And again, I, my shout out to Mr. Doc Hardy, uh, my colleague in the radio game. Um, thank you for bringing this, to bring, let me know that I should probably, this should be my next subject matter on my show. And you're right. 
good idea. It was a good idea. But I, I'm frustrated. I am. When I saw that last week, that those changes were coming, and then thinking about all the changes that have already been made to one of my pages without my knowledge, without my consent, very angry, very frustrated, um, and don't know what I'm going to do going forward. Again, social media can be a good flat platform if used correctly and used in a positive way. It can be. It really is. It's a, a good way to, to connect with people all over the world. So I'm not taking that away. I'm not. But when my choices are taken away from how I build my public pages, that doesn't make, that's, that's where I, I, I kind of draw the line and so much. It's like, really? Come on, come on, really? What, what other change is going to be coming? I'm, I'm afraid to ask. I'm afraid to put that out there. So everybody be mindful of the changes that are coming. Make sure you get your notifications and everything and just look at how you want to do your pages from now on because it's going to change. And starting this week, it's going to change with public pages on social media, on the main one. You guys know what I'm talking about. Weigh in, everyone. Tell me your thoughts, your views on all of it. Um, how you think you're going to proceed or, you know, the pros and cons. To, if you think there are any, any pros to this, just weigh in. Please weigh in on this. Privacy and social media is today's subject matter here on My Perspective. I am Miss Music, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please stay safe. Stay healthy. We are still in this crazy time right now. And so, um, you know, social media, of course, during this time is very important to be able to still connect and create and all of that. But yeah, with the changes, I don't know. Just don't know. So you guys, I'm, I'm anxious to hear your feedback. Again, my name is Miss Music, Paulette Miss Music Jackson here on My Perspective. Thank you very much for listening. And I will be talking to you all very soon. Bye. Thank you.